Ah, uh, okay, people, it's me, King Human! Huzzah! Let the doves fly, let the trumpet sound, it's a great day, you're watching King Human! <laughs> yeah, I'm full of myself today. Okay, what do you want from me? Um, hang on, a little more juice. I got something interesting for you guys today. I'm going to do two things. First, I got a rant and rave at a couple of my subscribers. And secondly, I'm going to tell you about an incredibly unique service business that you may want to look into. And I'll tell you how to get into it with zero money. But it's very interesting, so shut up and listen. Some more juice. Oh, I'm almost out. Okay. Uh, first, I got to get a little aggro on a couple of people that annoyed me. And I'm getting old and aggravated at things, so I'm getting annoyed at people. The first guy that annoyed me was a guy that emailed me saying, Hey, King Human, you make a bunch of videos, you got a bunch of subscribers, but you don't get enough views. So come to blah 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 dot com and buy these fake robot views for your videos and you'll make a shitload of partner money on YouTube. So I, I blocked him. I emailed him back with one word said spam. And he got on my ass. Oh, you don't want to make a bunch of money. You're an idiot. Blah blah blah. Whatever the hell he said. Dude, don't get mad at me because I don't want to buy your fake robot views. You're not getting what I'm about, you know? I'm not on YouTube to make a shitload of partner money. I don't care about that. I make my crappy little videos. If people want to watch them, fine. If they don't want to watch them, fine. I'll go in my room and cry in my pillow. Leave me the f*** alone. F robot views. Who gives a shit? Don't get all bent. Okay, next. Uh, there's been a guy that's been spamming my channel. I mean, comment after comment, video after video, it's the same shit. Come to firepit.com and see, you really want to make money? Come to firepit.com. Ah, idiot. I had to block him. Now, I don't like blocking people, but... Here's the thing. In my YouTube settings, I want to stay in touch with people. I want to see what they have to say when I put a video out there. I really, I really try to look at every comment, every email, everything. So in my settings, I have it so that every comment and every email comes to my personal email address. And I go downstairs or I sit on the beach with my maxi pad not the mini pad now, the maxi pad. And I'll sit there and I'll go through all the comments and see what people have to say. And maybe something I want to talk about in a video. And I start opening the emails one after another. Come to firepit.com. 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 Dude, give it a break. First of all, the people that come to my channel, they don't respond to that idiotic, stupid spam. They come to my channel for something with more substance, for something that's real, something that they may actually be able to use in their real life. They're not going to respond to this spam. In fact, all you're doing is creating negative PR for yourself. People on YouTube in general, don't want commercials. They don't want to be inundated with this spam crap and commercial crap. They want real advice. They want real tools they can use. You know, you're killing yourself and you're killing me because I can't see any of the real emails. I open up a bunch of your firepit.com to the point where I get so frustrated I hit bulk delete and I don't see the real comments. So get out of here. And again, I, it really pains me to block people like this because I'm all about open source. I'm all about free market enterprise and giving everybody a voice. That's why I keep my video replies open too. But here's the thing. I'm getting 
tired of that because I look at the video replies and all they are is commercials. Just once in a while I'd like to get a real video reply to something I said by a real person. A real video reply from a real person saying, hey, King Human, this is what I thought about what you had to say. Good, bad, indifferent, I don't care, but a real freaking response, not a commercial from somebody trying to sell their shit. Okay, I think my rant's over now. And now I'll talk about this unique business, which is something I guarantee you never thought of. Foropter Repair Service. What's Foropter Repair? Calm down, I'm going to tell you. Don't be screaming at me. I can't take it. I'm delicate. Uh, okay, many years ago, it seems like everything I talk about is many years ago, doesn't it? I, I think my brain is on a, on a skip delay. But uh, anyway, I went into Costco to get a new pair of glasses, prescription glasses, and they put the Feropter on me, and if you don't know what a Feropter is, it's that giant freaking alien machine that they put in front of your face and they dial the different lenses on and say, is this better or is it worse? Is it better? Is it worse? That giant machine needs to be serviced in order to stay in proper shape. It gets out of whack, the, 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 whatever. I went into Costco, the thing was so dirty I couldn't see through it. And I yelled at the woman, come on, get a grip. This is a, I'm supposed to be getting glasses here and I can't even see through the fucking machine, you idiot. When was the last time you had this thing serviced? Anyway, years ago, I read about some guy who had this business. And he would go around and service all the machines in, the, in his territory, which was pretty big. A uh, big part of California. So I, I, I was stuck in my mind. Wow, that's such an interesting thing. When I start thinking about all of the dispensing opticians and optometrists or whoever uses that Feropter machine, there's got to be a gazillion of them within this California territory. So anyway, I started, I always, it always percolated in my mind. I never followed up on it as a kid. I never got into it, but you know, it was an option. So anyway, I looked on the internet and I found that there are schools that teach for opto repair. So, you know, I found one, it's like 4,500 bucks tuition to learn how to repair these things. And then you open up your own business. You're in business. You go around and you service all these machines. Um, but now I, I can already hear a bunch of you coconuts screaming at me, 4,500 bucks to learn how to do this. Listen, go get your phone book and look at how many optometrists there are in your area. Every one of them has one of those machines that needs to be serviced. I don't know if you've got competition currently in your area or not. Um, you're going to have to do a little bit of research on this. You're going to have to find out if this is a viable business for you or not. But here's the thing. If you are intrigued by it, and the $4,500 tuition sounds like way too much freaking money for you. By the way, I'll put a link to the school down here. But all you have to do is Google search for Opter Repair Service. Um, if it's too much money for you, $4,500, plus you have to fly to where the school is and, they, and stay in a hotel for like two days to learn it and all that crap. If that's too much for you, here's what you can do. Here's what I would do. I would see if there was a guy in my local area that did, had a territory of servicing for opters. I would contact him and I would say, hey, look, I got a proposition for you. I want to learn the business. I will be an apprentice. I will do all the shit work you don't want to do. You will have free labor. In exchange, I get to learn the business. And I will sign a non-competition contract, meaning once I learn how to service these things, 
I will not do business. I will not service a foropter within your given territory and you have my signature on it. You can sue me up the ass if I do. So here I am, you're in California, you teach me how to service these foropters, teach me the business, you get free labor, I get an education. Once I learn it, I will go away. I'll go to Hawaii and do my business. It won't cost you anything and uh, you get free labor. Anyway, that's one possibility. Or you could even pay him a few bucks too. You could say, hey, look, teach me the business. Don't just teach me how to service for opters, but teach me how you built your practice and uh, how should I do it. And I will pay you 4500 bucks, and I'll go out of the area and I'll do it in Hawaii. You can stay here in California, wherever the hell you are, and I'll go away and do it myself somewhere else. Oh, hang on. Got to start the bubbles up again. Okay, so that's a suggestion. Foropter repair. It's a service business. There's a shitload of them. And I think it's got incredible potential, especially for some of you young people that are looking for a direction, something to get into, because it's such a niche. I mean, where in the hell else would you hear about foropter repair? Nowhere. Only here. Only me. Bow. Kneel before Zod. Not bow before Zod. Kneel before Zod. Don't spam my channel. Don't make me mental. Learn how to spell. And donate some money to charity. And help somebody less fortunate than yourself. And don't be selling robot views. Don't be buying them either. All right. I'm annoyed. Leave me alone.